outbound heave. We timed this at 100 miles per hour. Two batters later, men on first and second, Cologne against Troy O'Leary, no shot. Two earned runs allowed for Cologne, six hits in seven innings. Bottom two, no score, Russell Branyan, Tomo Oka. It's deep and it's gone. Two nothing Indians. Bottom four, three one tribe, Oka. Facing Manny Ramirez with the bases full, 2-0 count against Ramirez. That's 3-0 uh, now. Jimmy Williams telling Oka to be careful in that 3-0 pitch. No kidding to Manny. Ramirez, opposite way, clears the bases. Manny has eight RBIs in the first two games of this series. And suddenly it's 6-1 Indians. It was 6-3 though, Cleveland top of the seventh. Cologne facing Everett again. Everett makes contact this time to first. David Segui knocking it down, gathers and goes to Cologne. Everett is out. Next batter, no more Garcia Parra, your AL leading hitter at 363. Branyan all over that. No more was one for four in this game. He came into this game hitting 229 against Bartolo Colon. Bottom seven, Manny Ramirez says it's not you, it's me to Hector Carrasco. Four RBIs, two for five, 347. Two batters later, Segui's turn. Oh, speaking of winning everything, look at David Segui. Back, 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 gone. It's among the trees. Yikes. And that was an absolute bomb. Thank you, Chris Berman. Sagi's 16th home run and the Indians cruise from there. The victory moves Cleveland three games up on Boston in the AL wildcard battle, one and a half ahead of Oakland. Butter. Top three, socks up one zip. Damien Easley yokes one deep to left. Chris Singleton on his run. I'm feeling you, Chris. I am feeling you, said Singleton afterward. Everything was right. The timing was right. The ball was right, and I jumped with both legs. Check it out again. Easley said it was a home run. Well, it is an out. Top four, still one zip. Dean Palmer up, called strike three. Dean, don't, don't, don't throw anything. All right, just keep your, don't, uh, he did. Palmer got tossed and then he didn't want to leave. I guess he wanted his cake and he wanted to eat his too, eat it too. And I don't know why we say that. We want your cake and you eat it too. I mean, it's just an expression, Stuart. Go with it. I mean, you're going to watch the cake. Of course you want to eat it too. Top eight, Mark Johnson throws out Rodney Lindsay trying to steal second. Tigers have been blanked a league high 14 times. Sox, a league best 27 and 13 in one run games. They won it one zip. Just looking for cover because Roger was like, whoa. Top one, Carlos Delgado. Blown away. Jose Cruz Jr. top three got used. Clemens didn't come in with 165 strikeouts because he looks good in pinstripes. Jorge Posada calling for the off speed top five. Cruz Jr. got hung up on. Rocket lowers his ERA to an AL second best 3.30. Bottom six, Esteban Luiza pitching to Jorge Posada. Posada to Delgado. Delgado getting righteous. He hasn't had a homer in 14 games, Delgado hasn't, but his D was tight. Eighth inning, Rocket didn't allow a runner pass first into the seventh. Then in the eighth, after three straight hits, he left to a standing O. Jeff Nelson now pitching. Alex Gonzalez got the bling bling. He was 0 for 5 with two Ks. Delgado, a 357 hitter. Fouls out to Posada, two outs. Next, next batter, Brad Fulmer. Gets jammed, pops out to Jose Vizcayano. Five different Blue Jays had multi-hit games, but they got no love in the night. Yanks up 3-2, two. two on, two out. Mariano Rivera gets Gonzalez to fly out to Paul O'Neill. Mariano's 34th save and 39 chances. Yankees win, the Yankees win. Ah, the Yankees win, 3-2. Clements wins his ninth straight, hasn't lost since June 9th, it's nine straight decisions. Yankees win for the 11th time in 14 games in opening, right? See what, what ha happened. Confusion between Jay Payton and Lenny Harris, Angel Echevera score. One's at Brewers. Payton said later, I told the guys I'd buy a steak dinner for anyone who got that run back. Top seven, one's at Brewers. Raul Casanova to Mike Bordick, who's just off the hinges with his D. Even Bordick's teammates were like, that was tight. Bottom nine, runner on third, one zip Brewers. Robin Ventura getting ghetto fabulous. Doubles to left, Jay Payton scores. Payton also had a double. First time in 190 innings, the Mets get two extra base hits in the same inning, their longest streak since 1980. Bottom 10, tight end run, runner at first. Joe McEwen to shallow center. Should be the second out, misplayed. Everybody's safe. Said Marquise Grissom about Loretta. He couldn't get out of the way, and I pulled up because I didn't want to run into him. After Bubba Trammell flies out, Jay Payton at bat. Two on, two out for Jay Payton. And the Lord said you got to rise up. Uh. Three-run walk-off homer. Before that, Payton was sitting just 148 with two outs and runners in scoring position. His 14th jack of the year.
I guess Jay's gonna buy himself a steak dinner. Linda and I are jumping like that right now on the set, but you can't see us because of this full screen panel you see. Mets win 4-1. More game. You want to know why Greg Maddox has every NL gold glove for a pitcher in the 90s? Why is that? Pete, this. He's got mad glove. He pitched a no-hitter through four and a third and would also get some help. Top five, runner in first. Brave still up one zip, one out. Lee up the middle. Raphael for a call. I see a player. Flips it to Keith Lockhart over to Big Cat for the double play for call. Youngest player in the bigs also went two for three at the plate. Bottom seven, Ryan Dempster facing Brian Jordan. Jordan. Number one, Stunners. Skies in the shallow center. Luis Castillo tried to make the over-the-shoulder play. Didn't work. Reggie Sanders. Andre Jones scored. Jordan's 25th double of the year. Braves up 4 zip. Top nine, more defense. Castillo to short for call. Through to second for safety reasons. Keith Lockhart throws to first to double up Mark Kotze. Next batter, Alex Gonzalez. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Maddox, 22 and two-thirds straight shutout innings. He got 12 ground outs, faced only 29 batters, threw 89 pitches, 60 for strikes. Do I need to tell you that the Braves won? It's the layup. Chris Truby knows you have to wreck your body to save your name, and he makes the out at first. Top seven, Giants still down 2 nothing. Miller facing Barry Bonds. Career best 47th home run on the year for Barry Bonds, breaking his own mark of 46 back in 1993. Bonds would say later, I don't know how many I'll hit this year, I just want to win. Giants down one, one on. JT Snow, his only hit of the game, He's hitting 287. Jeff Ken, who went three for four, comes in to score to tie up this game at two. Same score in the ninth. Miller pitching to Armando Rios. Rios, that is gone, number 10 on the year. For Rios, he dedicated this home run to his grandmother, who passed away last week. Rios was three for four. Giants up one in the ninth. Tying run on second. Rob Nen. Money against Julio Lugo. Nen is 23rd straight save. He has 36 on the year. Giants win. For Barry Bonds, it was his third homer in as many games. His eighth homer in September and the 492nd of his career, putting him one behind Lou Gehrig for 17th all-time. Giants now 6-0 at Enron. Levon Hernandez continues his rebound birth in a Giants uniform, going eight for his 15th win. Cardinals and Pirates, former Pirates skipper, current St. Louis scout, Jim Leland. Top one, no score. Todd Ritchie facing starting shortstop Mark McGuire, hobbled by that sore knee. Big Mac, big ups. His 30th single of the year. He's got 31 homers. That hit started a 2-1 rally. He would then be pinch run for. Top two tied at two. Ritchie facing J.D. Drew. Drew pops it in foul territory. Emil Brown. Why you got to hate like that, Emil? Got his Ph.D. in making up for that 221 batting average. Bottom six, 7-3 Cardinals. Emil hated on J.D. Rick and Kill hating on Emil. And Kill was just butter. Ties his career high with 11 Ks. He also had a hit. Top seven, peace. Sean Dunstan, 12th home run of the year. Ten different Cardinals had hits. Cards going to win at 9-5. They completed three-game sweep of the Pirates, and they get at the plate. Two outs. Guillen grounds one deep into the hole at second. Luis Ordaz with a sick glove. He's only a 213 hitter, but he has serious defensive skills. Top three, two on for David McCarty. He sends one deep to left, but Al Martin. It's all to the good. Royals left 11 men on through eight. That ends a threat. Check out the layout by Martin again. He's only hitting 230, but he's got some defensive skills. More deep, bottom three. Joe Oliver sends a hot one down the third baseline. Joe Randall with the full extension to snare it and throw Oliver out at first. Still no score in the sixth. Edgar Martinez up, two on. Blake Stein schools Edgar. Stein came in, three and one in six road starts. Top nine. Tied at one, runner at the corners, Todd Dunwoody. Smacks a line drive right at John Olerud. 13 Royal runners stranded through nine. Bottom nine, runner on second, third, two out. Stein still pitching and pitching. Wayo! Gein with the fly ball to left center. Carlos Beltran with the catch. Blake Stein pitched a mad game. We go to extras. Bottom 11, Mike Cameron on first, two outs. Jay Buhner, early in the game, smacked his 25th homer. True, true. Cameron on his horse. Here comes the throw. Ball game. Cameron safe. Buhner's 80th RBI of the year. At least he was called safe. <laughs> the Mariners are happy the game's over. The Royals are like, come on, bro. Come on. What about the call? Watch the replay. The plate is blocked. Bad call. Cameron clearly out. Not called that way. In 11 innings, Mariners beat the Royals 2-1. to one.
Mariners win their 80th game of the season, surpassing last season's win total. They've won four or five at home. This after a losing stretch of 10 of 12 at Safeco. KC has lost seven of 10. The A's during the day against the Twins' top second, Jacques Jones at the plate facing Gil Heredia. And Jones with the Twins up 1-0 is a master batter. His 17th home run of the year, three RBIs for him. Heredia lasted just four innings. Twins go up 2-0. Top three, Denny Hawking facing Heredia. Hawking to Adam Pye and off his glove, Miguel Tejada with a throw after the out at first. Tejada also with his 26th home run in this game. Bottom nine, Terrence Long facing LaTroy Hawkins. Bases full, Long. Picking his spot, Ben Grieve and Miguel Tejada come in to score. The A's cut the lead to 7-6. Same inning, Randy Velarde at bat facing Hawkins. Two men on, two outs, and that's the third out. Twins win. Hawkins gets his 12th save. Eric Milton beats the A's for the third time this season. Not bad for a pitcher who says he hates to face the A's. Towards it, Adam Kennedy facing Corey Little with runners at the corners. Kennedy got medieval. His ninth homer of the year, he was two for three at the plate. Angels cut the lead to 4-3. Bottom five, former Nebraska football player Darren Erstad. Geeked up about the Huskers being number one. Down the left field line, Benji Gill scores. Erstad's 215th hit of the year, 4-4 game. Bottom six, 5-4 Angels. Benji Gill with runners at first and second. Gill on three for four. Troy Gloss scores. Kennedy scores. Angels score. A lot. They win it 8-4. to four. They put up a five spot in the fifth. Angels rally from a 4 0 deadlift top one. Lord have mercy. He done made his kin folks so proud. Pookie and M and Ray Ray, Lucretia, Moesha, baby daddy. Career hit number 3,054. Cowan, four for five with an RBI and scored two runs. Bottom two, watch the teamwork. Gabe Kapler, ground ball to second. Jerry Harrison can field. Melvin Mora can. Mora making up for an 0 for 5 day at the plate. Top three, Chris Richard in full Mac mode. With runners on second and third, Richard back up the middle. Delano to Shields, Cow Ripken score. Richard, a thick three for three, five RBI night. O's win at 5 1. And Cow's blowing up with four hits. He had missed 59 games with back.